trying to get a hold of Big Ben Hudson, our second place finisher tonight, so we can get his thoughts on how things are going. Hey, man. What's up, Tom? Hey, congratulations on that second place finish tonight. Thank you, thank you. I wish it could have been a first place finish, but me and Optic took max points, so I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. Now, I caught on the, the, the commentary stream there. Some point you were in a battle for second place with, I think, uh, Simoleons and Blade Fox, and all of a sudden you went for a spin. Uh, tell me what happened in that incident, if you recall it. I was on really old tires because Homestead eats the tires, and I just lost it coming off the corner. However, it got it going again, and that set kind of it kind of sort of was a blessing in disguise because it set me up for success there at the end because I pitted, and after I hit pit road and I was past the commitment line, caution flag came out, and so I was able to start at the front. Well, brand new tires, and I didn't go a lap down. See, now I lost you in the commentary after you spun, and I wasn't sure what happened. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, there's Ben second place. How do you get up here, up there? Yeah, I thought I was done for, and then that caution came out when I was on pit road. Because I was looking at laps, and I was like, if I go, if I save enough fuel, I should be able to make it from here. And then the caution came out, and I was like, oh, perfect. <laughs> hey, sometimes Lady Luck smiles on you. Mm -hmm. Now, at the end, you had second place, but um, Simoleons was saying he was really struggling on the old tires and thought mm -hmm. maybe that had something to do with deciding the second and third place battle. What were you mm -hmm. able to do to save some tires during the race and uh, oh. be able to take second place there at the end? I had an amazing long run, long run truck the entire night. The longer it went on, which I'm really happy is what we talked about earlier, getting those green flag runs. I had my truck set up for the long run, and it worked perfection there at the end. Uh, I wish there were a couple more laps because maybe I could have done something with Optic, but such is life. So we'll move on and go on to Charlotte. Yeah. Now, when you talk about having the truck set up for a long run, was that the way mm -hmm. you had it set up at the beginning, or did you come in mm -hmm. on that first pit stop and make adjustments there to help the long run speed of the truck? Mm -hmm. uh, I had it set up for the long run starting off, but the adjustments weren't right, and it would get me too far back. So I had to adjust take a little bit away from the long run, give a little bit to the short run. That way I'm not so far back and I'm running guys down um, at the end of the run. But it it, um, it worked out anyway, so came home with the second place finish. All, All right, congratulations on the second place run. So Charlotte is next week. You going to mm -hmm. enjoy this second place or are you going to jump on to uh, race tonight and start practicing for Charlotte already? Oh yeah, I'm gonna start. Well, I gotta get ready for Gateway tomorrow. Um, but once then, I'll get. I'll start getting ready for Charlotte. All right, man. Great points day. Great run tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, look, long green flag runs. Look like things are getting pretty intense. But congratulations on a great night tonight. Thank you. Thank you. All right, man. We'll catch up with you later. Thanks for the interview. All right.